The earth is warming and places are burning. Water is rising and cities are flooding. Humanity faces many threats, but none is greater than climate change. A lot of us always think of climate change as rising temperatures or extreme heat, but very few think about how climate change impacts water, or what we call the hydrologic cycle. In fact, depending on how the hydrologic cycle is changed, the consequences can be catastrophic. Last year, extreme hydrological events, such as flooding, hurricanes, and droughts, caused over $200 billion economic damage, killed and displaced millions of people across the globe. In history, the success and development of human society has also been closely related to the hydrologic cycle. In fact, we believe that many ancient civilizations, like the Maya society, collapsed because of droughts. So the hydrocycle has been changed and will continue changing as a result of our emission of greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. The main tool we use to predict the future is climate model, but the prediction always have uncertainties. In other words, we don't know precisely whether places will become drier or wetter in the future on seasonal, annual, and decadal basis. So to investigate how nature will respond to this increasing level of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, we choose to look at the past. In fact, to reconstruct the past as a mirror for the future. So in my thesis, I reconstruct the past hydrologic cycle in the Caribbean region. And I look at how it has evolved over thousands of years, responding to different levels of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. So the way of reconstruction is through analyzing the oxygen element in a stalagmite deposit in the cave. So here's a picture of some stalagmites. Through lab work, I look at two different types of oxygen in the rock because their relative abundance reflects how much it rains in this area, particularly in the Caribbean region. So to summarize my research results, as shown in this graph here, we find that there is a very strong positive correlation between the amount of rainfall and the global carbon dioxide level. So more greenhouse gas means more rainfall. And this relationship has existed for over 60,000 years. That is to say, if humans continue emitting greenhouse gas into the atmosphere, it is very likely that Central America will experience more extreme rainfall and flood. This is a concern with 1.5 billion tropical population who relies on rain-fed agriculture. The climate is changing, and we need to act now. Thank you.